ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് is that okay okay so yeah today um today today's lecture is like it's going to be short it's going to be um, not too long and it's going to be basically theoretical we are going to introduce to what is hacking or what is ethical hacking and types of hacking and uh, types of attacks types of what uh hackers and stuff like that and common terminologies we are going to we are going to get know what is hacking or like what are its concepts we are going to uh, that's what we are going to focus today it's going to be it's going to be really short so hang in there and uh tomorrow tomorrow session we are going to be looking into a deep dive into networking and basic hacking okay so uh, you all want this session to be ctf oriented right or you just want this to be uh ethical hacking oriented or uh, like what do you guys prefer do you want it to be a session that will help you to perform better in ctfs and stuff like that or do you want this 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 session to be help you you know get to know hacking ethical hacking or like the concept of hacking more or like what is or do you what do you want to do like hacking or like or this this ctf sir okay ctf anyone else ctf we want me to take the session ctf for inter right please mm-hmm. respond in chat ctf okay okay so today's session is basically it's basically um, doesn't related to uh, ctf but uh, we are focusing on ethical hacking and I, i the reason why i ask this is because like is because for tomorrow session it's mainly full on practical so uh i was i was uh, i was thinking to whether to you know teach you um, just uh, all kinds of attacks or just stuff that helps you in ctf that's why i asked okay so what is ethical hacking do you anyone 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 knows the concept of ethical hacking or anyone here familiar with the term ethical hacking or hacking in the sense have you heard of it ethical hacking hacking stuff like that. it's pretty it's now it's trending right now i guess ethical hacking yeah hacking with certain ethics yeah okay so finding vulnerabilities yeah gaining access with permissions okay okay <laughs> okay hacking is an app or technique of finding and exploiting security loopholes in a system all all your the idea of ethical hacking you guys have is, is actually actually right it's actually exploiting something hacking is actually like finding loopholes or finding exploiting something it might be anything it might be like you can you can you can hacking is not you know com, just just in computers and stuff like that it's like now daily life you can if you find you know we people say oh, okay i can tell you a hack uh, you can use this stuff like this it's a hack so stuff like that we can the the way of finding uh, you know the way like we uh, try to find like um, different uses for a product or or like uh, yeah a product that is that is not what the user not not the pro, uh, sorry uh, not the uh, manufacturer is intended to do it if it's knife it's if it's, like it's a knife it's it's meant for cutting cutting vegetables or like cutting uh, meat or stuff like that but that's not the, that's not entirely the use of the that kitchen knife right? we can use it for different purposes different purposes that are not intended by the manufacturer or anything like that so 
hacking is basically like an finding finding alternate ways to uh, ways to use a, use something or like it's like base, basically it's like finding alternate alternate ways or stuff like that so in in terms of like computer hacking it's like finding and exploiting security loopholes in a system we are we are we are trying to get into a system where there is like security protections or stuff like that or logging where there where the where the required credentials or valid credentials we are we are like we are we are trying to get it get into that system without giving that actual credentials or stuff like that so what we are doing is like we are trying to exploit exploit the the system the, or the the main intent intention of the or like the main purpose of the system and trying to get around it that's what that's what basically hacking is so uh hacking can be you know like it can you can use it for good purposes or bad purposes it can you can use it to help people or like you can use it to secure systems or you, you can use it to like uh threat someone online or you know steal stuff data money anything nowadays like there is like digital money cryptocurrencies stuff like that so based on the based on the intent we can we can we can classify hacking into different uh, into good hacking or bad hacking and we can we can moreover we can differentiate the hacker the the person who does hacking to different classes so ethical hacking <laughs> sorry um ethical hacking is mainly hacking with with permit or like Uh, you know a good uh, hacking with a good intention you can say that you can say it like that so the term hacking is like nowadays it's often associated with malicious intent or the hacker you know, like he steals stuff he's a thief like that that's an image that mostly in the society have on hackers like you say like, i want to be a hacker do you want to steal stuff do you want do you want to be a bad person like that, that's what that's what that's what society thinks or like mainly mainly people think that when we when they hear hacking mainly it's it's evolving now it's changing now it's changing it's when you can use alternate terms like i'm a cyber security researcher or like i'm a, I'm a like i'm into cyber security uh, without rather than saying i'm into hacking or ethical hacking people don't grasp that term really really nicely so uh, people don't know that like when they when they uh, what they what they feel to know is like what is ethical hacking or how how, imbo- how important that is in, in our daily lives today our lives are getting into uh, technology is more evolving our lives are mainly really depending on it now in our daily day daily day to day life and tasks that we do daily so as it as it as it as the technology evolves the security that it means or like the the professional who need, professionals who need to secure the system or like to to implement security to that system is also evolving because like the technology element or the cyber space is affecting human beings really 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 good and bad also so uh, you know uh, as if i heard like uh, cyber bullying people who commit suicide because of cyber bullying and stuff like that because so things are getting out of hand now because like that that is how much technology or the cyber space have been integrated into our lives but in cyber space there is no there is no man there is no woman there is no age limit there is no like social social status nothing nothing is there there is no okay audio audio is not clear can you hear now okay hello hello yeah can you hear okay kao krishna bhai clear clear sa sa audio scooter sa sa kya sir okay ye phone sa okay okay uh, so Do you want me to repeat it or like you okay? Do you want to repeat it? It's just, it's just basic stuff. It's just, it's just informative stuff. 
Do you want guys want me to repeat the the stuff? No, okay, thank you. So now we know what is what is ethical hacking or like what is the term ethical hacking means. We can like go to the next step as like understanding common terminologies. Like when we when we learn ethical hacking or when we learn hacking in, in general. There's, there are some terms that we that there, that is associated to it. Like we can we can say people you know professionals in this field saying that oh there's a vulnerability there's a there's a there's a, there's a like what uh, uh, there's an exploit there's a payload there's a malware there's a, there is a virus there is worm. We can say that, that we we can hear stuff like that everywhere. You know people into this into this field they they common they commonly use this stuff. So first we are gonna familiar with common terminologies related to ethical hacking. Again, am I audible? Okay. Okay. First, there is a threat. So, what is a threat? What is a threat? Generally, what is a threat? If someone, someone, someone is a threat to me, what does that mean? Oh, he he he's he's threatening me, or like. He seems a threat to me or to us. He's a threat, or like, what do you? Uh, what does that mean? That means like he can cause harm to us in any way. Might not be like physical, might be mental, or like in any way. Yeah, danger. Yeah. So they 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 can they can they can they can they can inflict certain certain amount of destruction or like something like that into us. So. A threat in a security, uh, cyber security um, point of view, it's, it's actually same. It's a, a threat means an action or event that might compromise security. Might, a threat is something that compromises our security. If I'm, if I'm putting firewalls, if I'm putting something like that, a threat means, a threat can be anyone. A threat can be a malware, a written script, a malware, a written script, or a threat can be a good hacker. It can be a good threat. A good, it can be a, a, a good hacker can be a good threat to a weak security. If you put it like that, he's a he's a good threat. So threat can be that something or like an action or event or like maybe a person too. Person or an action or like an event or if maybe like some 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 secure some some institutions or say some some organizations might be might be vulnerable to some some kind of attack or some or or some what some some new new types of vulnerabilities or say new types of malware or like some certain kind of attack like they might not there there's uh, maybe their employees might not be well trained so we can social engineer them into giving us their secure their credentials or stuff like that so like that that's basically an action that that can be took place and that can be that can be that can compromise the security okay the next the next thing is vulnerability Vulnerability is an existence of a weakness. It's like if I'm, if I'm saying I'm vulnerable to something, like it's like okay, she's vulnerable to that, or like it is vulnerable to that. It's, it means it means like there 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 is a, there is a, there is an error or like there is a potential to you know like there is something that we can we can exploit or like there is like. What can we? How can we put it? Like a vulnerability is like, it's like something like, you know, uh, yeah. In human in human beings terms, it's like a weakness. Uh, in computer terms, a uh, error in design, or like implementation error, or like execution error. It can be any error. It, it's an error, or like it's a weakness. It's a weakness that hackers tend to exploit. So vulnerability is something. That hackers tend to ex exploit. That is that is what hackers are exploiting. Yeah, a loophole. Yeah, a loophole. Yeah, yeah, it's a loophole. So it's a weakness. So uh, the next next we are coming to exploit. What is an exploit? A defined way to breach the security is an exploit. The way we do it is we find a vulnerability and we exploit them using some using some ways like. You know, maybe like maybe 
threatening someone or like or you know manipulating someone or like injecting a usb without anyone seeing it's like it can be anything it can be anything so threat is something that might compromise the security an action or event or a person that can compromise the security a vulnerability is a weakness in the system okay a vulnerability in the system and exploit exploit is a divine way to breach the system we have a, we have a, we have a vulnerability we have a loophole if the if it sits right there no nothing's going to happen because like even even now if the the applications we use there are dozens of exploits dozens sorry dozens of vulnerabilities dozens of loopholes that that is yet to be found like no systems are 100% secure because there is there is always there is always room for error so vulnerability is something we can call it a weakness a weakness in the system and exploit is exploit is when it is it is breached in a defined way okay it can be breached or like okay the you know if some some if we find some exploit sorry if we find some loophole in the system we can we can uh, exploit it uh, and then then after that we can find it and if we find it we can just we can say that okay i can i can like exploit the system like this and i can get into the system that is like the initial access of the active of the phase of ethical hacking because that that's like that's like a when when a thief enter into a house or a building he finds if i he finds okay this like any any glass doors or like any easily breakable doors that i get, that i can get into so the glass door or the like the easily breakable door there is the is the vulnerability there and okay if he use some certain tools like if he if he break the glass using hammer or like if he use any other power tools to get into the house or the building that that that's how we exploit the vulnerability that's how we abuse the vulnerability abuse the loophole it's okay so it's just the the three terms that i that i that i uh, talked about here it's it's actually the initial stage of ethical hacking it's like the very basic stage of ethical hacking it's not the it's not from start to end like from it it is not ending with an exploit there's many much more the hacker does not sit there exploiting a vulnerability okay yeah my my job is finished okay i i exploited the vulnerability i find out the vulnerability i exploited it okay i happy happy ended no real game starts after that okay so uh, there are some of terms that i would like to introduce to you that is that is that is not in the ppt if that's okay um, am i am i clear or am i am i going too fast or am i audible do you guys think update me okay do you think i'm going too fast okay okay next is something that's called a payload okay a payload you guys hear of it payload payload okay a payload is a part of the exploit it's like maybe uh, it's not necessary that a payload is what that what causes an exploit it's it's like it's like it's a it's a part of an exploit exploit code that performs on the intended malicious action performs the intended malicious action such as destroying creating backdoors and hijacking computers okay payload is something that after after maybe after exploiting or like it's 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 also it's maybe it is used after after exploiting a system or it, it can be used during the exploit It's it's a piece of code. It's a it's it's a malicious piece of code that that is in that is intended to do harm to the system. Whether it is gaining access or it is is like, you know, stealing data after after gaining access. It's it's it can be anything. It's a pay it's a pay a payload is something. It, it anything can be a payload. Any malicious piece of code can be a payload. Any malicious piece of code that can cause harm or can cause, you know. You know not nothing good 
or rather like you know which can exploit our system or something like that a, a code a code that is a threat to the system it's a payload okay is that clear payload clear what is a payload a malware can be a payload a virus can be a payload anything can be a payload is that clear a payload is something that we it it, it, it is not a standalone term it's the general term it, 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 it's not like okay malware is something virus is something worm is something and payload payload it, it is another thing no these all things are, are can be categorized in their payload something that hacker delivers during or after an exploit a piece of code okay is that clear is payload clear okay if you want if you want to repeat something if you want me to repeat something please please update in the chat box okay okay uh, then there's a term for zero day exploit or the zero day attack anyone heard of that zero day basically a zero day attack is a is an attack that you know attack that 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 a hacker finds and and in the the why you know why is called zero day attack yeah. sorry why why do you why do you think it um, do you know what why is called a zero day exploit or like a zero day one attack or anything like that it's it's like launching day attack yeah maybe uh it's it's the the reason why it's called a zero day attack is it's it's because like the manufacturer of the application or the if it's google or like if it's something else if it's a firewall or if it's a router like anything you know uh, like i said anything can be vulnerable to something so it's it's zero days that the uh, the manufacturer or the owner of that application or the company has known about the attack it can be in it in it for like a year or like a month or how many any amount of period but as long as the manufacturer or the owner uh, of the application or the or the yeah, application or the or, or the owner of the owner of the application or the author of the application doesn't know it's it's a zero day it's a zero day attack or it's a zero day exploit because it's not it's not known to the uh, order order of the manufacturer it's not patched up there's no security upgrade updates or like security uh, nothing like that no one have informed the um, what the owner or the manufacturer that's a zero day attack An attack that the the that the uh, manufacturer doesn't know an exploit that the manufacturer doesn't know or maybe you can say a vulnerability that is exploited by someone but it's not not it's not known to the manufacturer that is a zero day exploit it can be it can be it can be like an old exploit it, it doesn't matter how 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 old it is it, it 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 shouldn't be like okay today i found this attack so it's a zero day attack tomorrow it's a one day attack no it it work it doesn't work like that it is it, the whole whole concept of zero day attack is like basically the and zero day exploit uh the attacker any attack uh, any exploit that the uh, author or the manufacturer doesn't know it's it's considered to be a zero day exploit okay an attack that exploits computer application on before the software developer realizes releases a patch for the vulnerability that's the that's the definition of it and um, are you familiar with the term doxing doxing we heard of it doxing is like publishing personally identifiable information about an individual collected from publicly available databases and social media okay when we publish you know data or information whether it's i mean mostly it might be good but if it's bad then no one's come sorry Uh, mostly if it's it, it is bad if it's good no one's no one's complaining uh, doxing is like 
publicly uh, releasing personal information as it that is what doxing called okay and you guys know what a bot is right a bot is something a software application that can be controlled remotely to execute some task you can you can like control it remotely if if it if it if, uh, if i install a bot in another system i can i can, can control it as my own will as the, as the author of the bots will it's like a robot really, or like something like that 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 takes the command of of its of, of its you know author that is what a bot is okay um uh um, we clear about this stuff everything that i said is it clear sure okay then okay then there are some concepts called you know what is data we heard of the term data everybody has heard of the term data information and data heard of it information data data breach information breach the data is something it you can say it's a user input okay it doesn't hold any value if i if i if i you know input input something into my computer maybe it's a word it's a letter it's a data it is not it is not necessary that it it makes sense looking at it it makes sense so oh, okay okay this 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 okay this makes sense it it it, it doesn't it doesn't have to be might make sense it might not but it's actually individual input that contains raw materials which do not carry any specific meaning data is something like that that is what user gives to the computer what we give to the computer is what data is called what what is data that is sorry that is that is what data is called so uh, whereas information it's a group of data that is collectively carries a logic meaning can we can also we can also say it as a data, information as processed data process data is what information is it carries something it carries a meaning it may it might be you know collection of data it might mean uh, data processed and you know put it into another form or something like that information is something it is like process data okay then information security what is information security information security refers to the security of data or information and information system from unauthorized access and authorized use misuse destruction or alteration information security is protecting the, basically protecting data and information from malicious users and malicious intent okay clear what is data data is user input it is a, it is basically raw material it can be said as like raw material is like unprocessed data unprocessed unprocessed you know raw material that we things that we give into computer are called data what is information processed processed data is called information data that is processed turned into information which which carries a meaning it carries a logical meaning it seems logical to us which can be which can be read or it can be understood it can be which which carries a logical meaning that's information information security is protecting the data and the information from unauthorized access and unauthorized use the goal of information security is to protect confidentiality integrity and availability of information that is what every company every every internet company is trying to achieve okay every internet company is trying to achieve confidentiality integrity availability and there's something more like non repudiation and stuff like that okay we'll we'll see stuff we you know you know what confidentiality integrity and availability is these are the elements of information security these are the what we try to accomplish in information security and if if any any of these key points if any of the fact if any of this 
is lost or if any of this is breached and if any of this is manipulated we can call there is a there is a hack or they, there is a security breach in the system if confidentiality is breached if confidentiality is like if there is no confidentiality the might be like the, uh, even like you know uh, the facebook blackouts and stuff like that when facebook or like google uh, doesn't respond or like we can't get to that get to that or stuff like that is also that is also considered a hack even availability is considered a hack it doesn't it is not necessary that you know uh, data should be stolen or like something like that because like if it's not available to us if our data is not available to us that is also considered to be hack that is also a violation of information security because we want to access our information whenever and wherever we want that is what availability is all about you see that this this is this is a team like it's it's, a, it's something um, it's a framework maybe um, information security the cia triad confidentiality integrity and availability the confidentiality is like preserving unauthorized preserving authorized restrictions on access and disclosure you know something should be confidential if i'm working on a company and i shouldn't be i should be able to see everything that is happening on the company i, I, I should be I, my my access should be restricted to what what i am working on or what i should see i shouldn't be see like you know what my manager see or my, what my C, cfo or the like the cto or the main head of the company is able to see that that is like that, that is where we very like implement authorization to systems like you know different level of access ground one access ground two access level two access and stuff like that that is that is how conf- that is what confidentiality is like no no not everyone should be able to see everything what is happening on on the, in the inside the company or like it, it there should be a certain level of confidentiality like right? if everyone able to see like okay if a hacker like breaks into the system and he he sees all the all the all the data all the all the secret stuff that a company or like uh, or an organization have that is like break break of confidentiality there is there is no confidentiality there that is that is the, you know confidentiality that that is break that is broke so we don't want that right we don't want our sensitive if if, if, if in a personal perspective also like okay like we we trust someone so like we share we don't we don't share every stuff with like all stuff with everyone else it's like we we share certain stuff to certain certain people and we according to the people that we that we you know communicate we 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 what we just we uh give out information or like we share we share according to that if uh, you know you guys would be mad if your friends try to sneak a peek into your instagram account or they get to your instagram account and they know what what you are who you are chatting to or what you are chatting to it, it, it might be embarrassing we might get angry or something we don't want that that's our privacy that that should be confidential okay so exactly like that in the company or like in a organization point of view that is what confidentiality is preserving authorized restrictions or on access and disclosure uh, not every you know every employee on the company has admin level access is able to change someone else's password or able to control the network of the company everybody should be should be should be access to authorized to do that what what keeps them from doing that is what the element of confidentiality then integrity guarding against if if i if i send someone a message if i send my girlfriend a message and someone someone snatches that 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 message in you know while while it is while i was sending it and and you know like edit it edit it to some someone else something else and and uh, forward it to you know the person i was talking to the the point of integrity is lost like that is an improper info- information that is not what i intended to send in the first place okay if if a hacker 
so hacker hacking to a organization or a company and changes some stuff and you know and you know leave it there that is a violation of integrity and that that hack that and that hack violates the integrity then there 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 by that that there there's some mis misuse of information and data is happened there he might he might destroy some data he might modify some data so it it leads to mis misleading information so that is what integrity is the the ensure integrity ensures the data is like is authentic it is like it is it is what it is it is it is the og original no one has ever touched it no one no one changed it that is what integrity offers us and availability as i said availability availability is when we can we can access our data of our, at our own will at our own at our own space or, or like at our own time ensuring timely and reliable access to and use of information that is what availability is okay confidentiality it is like restrictions it is putting rest, it is authorized restriction that can be achieved by putting uh, you know uh, putting uh, users or like employees into different level of access they're giving them different level of access and stuff like that that's what, that's how we that's how we obtain confidentiality some things are not you know yeah. employees should, shouldn't see the performance performance and the work of all other employees that should be seen by the head of the employees or stuff like that that is that is what we are aiming at confidentiality integrity information that is uh, that is that is authentic and authentic information that is what integrity is no one should change it no one should modify it rather than the sender no one should be able to tamper it that is what we are hoping to achieve through integrity and availability is like reliable access of data at any time at any space that is availability there is also another frame right like triple a framework these are all these are all let me tell you this like these are all you know conceptual things we are we haven't been to ethical hacking just yet or like we are like covering some concepts or like we can call it some terminologies some things okay what is authenticity authorization what are we hoping to gain through ethical hacking or like what are we what are we trying to what are we trying to protect or how are we trying to protect what are we trying to prevent that is what we are you know actually learning now you know often to play payment it's actually it's pretty same authenticity method of identifying a user it's it's what it's pretty much same as ai trigger and authorization uh, you know depending on what resources is use uh, is the user allowed to access that is confidentiality it, it is like somewhat coincides it's somewhat it is somewhat same accounting means like monitoring and capturing uh, yeah it is accounting is like if someone you know if someone log into a computer there should be a clear log okay he he entered he he you know enter uh, log into this computer and you know in some office you can see like nfc card like you know id card and you can swipe swipe it while entering and you can swipe it while leaving so you can there's a clear log who entered the office at which time and when they leave so if something something goes wrong you can like actually trouble troubleshoot it you can actually find out okay who was there who was at the site i think when 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 things go wrong that is what accounting is there's also accounting in computers there's also accounting in computers you can see your logs when when all did you have a successful uh, you know successful login and when 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 do you have an unsuccessful login everything everything is everything is inside your computer that is that is what accounting is it is used to prevent if someone if someone else if i if i close my computer or like if i if i you know personal computer is you know like the server computer is not the same as personal computer they are running all the time okay sometimes if i if i go to for, go to have a cup of coffee and i log log my system i log my system at 12:30 and when i came uh, it is logged but i find something fishy and i and i look looked at the logs and 
I I logged the system at twelve thirty, and some but someone else logged into the system at twelve forty, and I can say okay, like okay, someone has used. I can I can come to the conclusion that okay, someone has used my computer, someone has tampered with my tampered with my system. So that is what accounting is trying to accomplish. Okay. Okay. No. I'm sorry, there's a there's a little. Mm. Not to issue with the PowerPoint. Next, we are trying to. Uh, next, 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 it's like types of apple. Don't you mind if? Do you mind if I say the say this? If it's, if it's okay, I will be sharing the PPT. If that's okay. Uh, Okay, how many types of attack, uh, you know, hackers do you think there is? How many types of hackers? Like, you know, I I've told you like there are there are different types of attacks. There are different types of um, there are different types of hacks. There are different types of attacks. There are different types of people who do, uh, you know, these hacks. You know, it might be with good intent, it might be with bad intent. So, let's let's. Yeah, three basically, basically three. Basically, it's like good, bad, and someone who does both, someone who's in the gray area. Okay, so the black hat hackers. Uh, but theoretically, uh, sorry, theoretically there are some more. Okay, there are some more based on the we we classify hackers based on their actions or based on their intent. Okay, there are. First of all, there are black hat hackers, you know, as the name suggests, the bad ones, the one who, one who, one who does the one who has like no good intent. All he do is sham people, like uh, individual who use their use their computer skill for illegal or malicious purposes, completely illegal or malicious purposes. They do, uh, you know, rob bank. Threaten people, inflate viruses and virus destroy systems, take down an organization. These are all done by black hat hackers. Okay. So the reason why I've told you that like there are so many, so many, uh, so many type of hackers. Like we can, we can just, we can. Okay, if we can call my, you might, we can call like. Um, you know, hackers basically categorized into three, but uh, you know, mm, a hacker who hacks for his nation, a hacker who hacks other nation for 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 the sake of his nation, can we call it call him a black hat hacker or a white hat hacker? It's confusing. It's it's relative, right? It's it's based on the perspective. If I'm from, if I'm from the country from which the hacker is originated, or which the hack, which the hacker is, uh, you know, based, or like the hacker is trying to protect, I can call. Oh, he's a good guy. He is trying to protect the country. Yeah, but if I'm on the other side, he's he's a, a so totally bad dude. So that's why that's why there's like more, uh, you know, there are um, more types of to ease the confusion. Or we we have to have a general term for hackers like that also, so that's why we have you know so much. If I recall, like the, there are twelve types of hackers. There are twelve mainly twelve twelve resides in black and white and gray. So uh, yeah, so the white hat hackers are the opposite of the black hat hackers who are trying to who are trying to protect something or like who hack with permission, who hack legally, or who who tries to protect. People from these black hats. Again, something I forgot to mention about the black hats is they, they are like really, really, really skillful in computer terms. They are really skillful. Black hat hackers are really skillful. They are not like noobs. They are they are, they are not like half learned or anything like that. They are really skillful at what they are doing. Black hat hackers. And white hat hackers, they are also skillful. They are they they are they are as skillful as white hat black hats. Okay, we are asked because like if 
white hats are not that skillful they can they can prevent some prevent uh, a hack or an attack they, they, they all they can do is just watch, sit and watch so a white hat is also a hacker with exceptional computer skill but he uses for the good purposes okay and then there's a gray hat they work both sides there's like might be the uh, their intention should be pure their intention might be pure it's like a robin hood type of hacker it's like the methods may be legal or like the method is not acceptable but the intention or like the why he is doing that it might be like to help someone or help help something like that that is what a gray hat hacker is like more he might be black hat sometimes doing doing something illegal he might be a black hat but uh, you know maybe it's to pro- is to be is to protect something you know something like that is a great hat so um, yeah then there are then there are script kiddies you know what script kiddies are yeah these are the hackers that they don't have any computing they might yeah copy pasting more yeah mostly yeah these are the hackers that doesn't know what they are doing or what they are playing with yeah what they are using presets yeah what they are playing with they just they might be they might you know download a virus or malware and put it into a usb plug it into your friends into his friends you know system and destroy it or like they might they might run some scripts that they find and they find on internet they don't they might they might run something like what they learned on a youtube video or something like that these are these are these are the these are the people they are un, they are really unskilled they don't they don't know what they are doing who compromise system by running script and tools and stuff like that they don't they don't like they can they mostly they won't be good out of a script kid what he is trying to do mostly is like trying to show off or something like that of what he just discovered online and there are suicide hackers i mean sort of like that they know they know that by doing something they are going to get caught but they do it anyway for the sake of something something of some for you know for their own reason they know they are, they are willing to sacrifice uh, by doing that that hack these kind of hackers are called suicide hackers they can also they can also inflict um, heavy damage upon applications and organizations doesn't but they are you know uh, not they don't hack in the best way possible you know best they, they won't be like anonymized anonymized as the best way possible they uh, like that and we know that also that is what suicide hackers is and there are cyber terrorists these are the hackers with wide range of skills motivated by religious or political benefits to create fear or large scale disruption to computer system they're like you know there are some 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 hacker groups that that threaten that threaten the nation or like you know an uh nation institute or like you know there are okay uh yeah an nation institute maybe a nuclear power plant or stuff like that there are being hacks like that there have been hacks like that like you know threatening a uh, us yeah, sorry uh, i uh, if i remember right if it's an iraqi back in okay nuclear power power plant and uh, they developed a virus i'm sorry that there are that, are, that is not a cyber terrorist okay that, that is that is like a state sponsored hacker it is done by it was done by the collaboration effort of us and i think um, another i think it's you uh, uk or egypt something like that 
don't know if it, I don't recall correctly but yeah so cyber terrorists are people who who doesn't side with anyone they does they do what they want what they feel like and all they are do all they what that they are doing is like for for getting money or like creating creating fear by destroying system and stuff like that people you know the hacker 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 groups like uh, lazarus hacker group lazarus uh, and uh, you know there are so many hacker groups like that who releases uh, rap and stuff like that you know uh, malware and ransomware and stuff like that into uh, computers so Mm. Any questions or like are you you guys understand today's session? Any suggestions or like anything like that? I'm really sorry for something like uh I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Jaren. I'm actually uh as you said a cyber security enthusiast or maybe a researcher if you if you if you will. okay uh, so today was my first session so uh, tomorrow basically um, it is like we are planning something more practical stuff for you guys you know pitching and stuff like that sniffing pitching and stuff like that and uh tomorrow we will get you uh, familiar with some computer commands and stuff like that mm. now the day when i don't get you uh what do you mean mm. so any questions or any doubts any questions should i should i step up the syllabus or like should i should i what do you guys think Just update me so that I can prepare it for tomorrow. So, uh, I want I want you to finish this. You get in group, okay? Yeah, of course. Sure. Um, so I want to finish this really quick, maybe two minutes. So there is when there are state-sponsored hackers, the hackers that is supported by a state or a nation. You know, uh, South Korea has a hacker group. even india every every nation now has a hacker group that they are they are state sponsored hacker they are heavily funded and uh, they are backed by government okay they are state sponsored hacker group and there are hackerists the like hacker group like have you heard the hacker group anonymous hacker group they might do it yeah day one of ethical hacking uh, session yeah uh, yeah today uh, over the previous two days was like ctf right okay Introduction to CTF. Okay, today we're going to have it. Okay. So there are there are hackerists who hack uh, to in there. There are like they are basically activists who are hackers who happens to be hackers. They try to impose their views on uh, views on the government or anything or the or the organization through hacking. They are hackerists. Um, then there are hacker teams who are. basically they are they are, they are group of people who are heavily funded by uh, an organization a foreign organization or a, uh, it's not as might not be government it's it's a private may might be private or like something like that they uh, do tenders or some something like that they are hacker groups and then they are industrial spies insiders criminal syndicates and uh organized hackers insiders is like something uh you know they are they they go uh, pretend to be uh pretend to be you know a legal uh, sorry a legit work worker on the you know company or something like that and they they steal information from inside that is an insider who poses who poses as a friendly person and steals information from behind something like something like that and I'll, i'll tell talk tell you about the other 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 types of hackers it's like the three of them it's not like that 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 important or like that that you know 
that important that it's, it's it's just for the sake of you know just a label it doesn't need to care about that upfront sorry that much so yeah so maybe you fill the attendance form okay should we wind up the lesson today for today can you guys like tomorrow can you prepare uh, can you be prepared to for uh, my 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 take long for tomorrow because like we have only introduced into ethical hacking so uh, tomorrow it might be a little long session hope you can if it's okay with you see you guys okay so okay okay bye good night Thank you.